Okay, so we're on 2024. You've just started the game. It's dead easy, dead straightforward. Just take a few minutes to set yourself up, but um, yeah, go to this, name your, uh, your character. So I'm going to call this uh, Commando. Um, reason for that is I'm going to choose the um, the level with the automatic rifle. And um, that one is probably the most fun to begin with. You can always do this again. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. And so you get up, get out of the uh, bed, go over here, quickly get this. Um, you can have a listen to this and mess around if you want, blah, blah. But... Uh, yeah, you want to get started, you want to get cracking, you want to start shooting things, don't you? You want to level up. Okay, so straight to this, and then basically just follow what you'll see some little um, um, some little things to follow. Some these robots. Uh, pick everything up you can, so you'll just see little um, cabal things everywhere. Anything you can pick up, pick up. Okay, so you can see these. Put that up, put that up. Jump to the next one. And all basically this is doing is these are all the things that are going to keep you alive. In the wasteland, um, you're going to build your own camp. You're going to be feeding yourself. You're going to be getting hit by things. All these different... Um, Things are still easy, straightforward to pick up. Uh, go into this room, go to this computer, blah blah. Nice and easy. There's all these different things. Okay. And then, um, actually, not this one. This one. Let's camp. Take that. Follow it around. Pick these up. And then, like that. Pick these up, can you? No. And they should be able to exit. And this, this is the bit that you're going to basically choose which you want. Um, we'll just go through them now. If you want, you can take your time and uh, take a look at all the different things. It's um, it's nice. It's straightforward. Right. Okay. So you can start from afresh if you want. It's you know, it's no choice. It's no bad thing on here. That just goes a little bit slower. But this one, this is probably the one that most people go for. So I hit A on this, and then it's going to give us all these different. Um, Play styles. Um, you got something called special. Uh, this one, commando. So you're going to get given a weapon, and you're going to get some perk cards which make that weapon, uh, that particular weapon, because it's automatic, going to make it. It's going to make it work uh, pretty good. Um, next one is going to be slugger. Okay, so two-handed melee weapons. So baseball bat, uh, things which are quite big. So it's going to give you more, um, more. Of a weapon style where you don't have to use ammunition because one of the things about playing this game it's not like card or anything like that you're going to be using ammunition and you're going to run out at some point pistols cowboy style that's pretty cool um yeah one shots that sort of thing shotgunner okay so this is going to do one shot at a time or two shots at a time um you have to go quite close to the enemy Okay, and then this one, this is more, um, it's VATS, which is Vault Assisted I think, Targeting System. I had to think then. Uh, and it's based on look as well. Um, personally, if you're just new to the game, and uh, you don't know, understand any of this, go straight to Commando. Okay, and if you want to view your perks on that, you probably don't know what any of these mean. It doesn't matter right now. Let's just start playing. Okay, so it's going to start off here. All right. And what's happened now is it's jumped 
level four, you, you, you get given some perk cards every five levels. So the XP is rising and then you're going to get all these different perks. So we've gone straight to level 20. At the top, you've got something um, which you can look at on your pit boy. Uh, so you press the uh, mines, press B. Okay. Um, in fact, it's actually prompting you there. And you can see their data. And you've, what you've got with the game, you've got a main story, a main quest, which you're going to do. Uh, with three different things to look at. You've got some side quests, some daily stuff and events. I won't worry about it, any of this too much. What I'll probably do is just have a look around you and see what's going on. Um, we've got a little robot there called Pennington. Um, and if we press, well in my case, because I'm doing the Xbox, the free, free lines. Um, just ignore that, just can you continue playing. This is the whole map that we've got. And at the moment we can't really see anything. You can see a few dots which are players. And then you've got some events. But when you start playing this, what's going to happen is around about 200 locations are going to be discovered once you start playing the game. Right now, you've got not discovered anything. Now you can see players' bases, which are there, and they're actually selling things. And... You can see some events and on the left hand side bottom left you can see events there like daily ops things like that so there's lots and lots of different things you can do the the fallout game is one of these um games where you have a game within a game within a game so you can do all sorts of different things um at the top you've got something that says x press x and this is to do with expeditions um you've got teams if you want to do teams or not, up to you. It's This is the great thing about this game is it's totally up to you how you want to play it. But right now, um, we're over here. I've zoomed in. We can speak to Pennington if we want or we can just start mooching around. Have a look. Okay. Nice and easy. So, just have a quick chat with him. What you find, what you will find is um, a lot of the robots are, are okay. Some of the robots will come up red where they want to attack you, but most of the time the robots are there to assist you and they'll tell you what, what they want from you. Okay, so I'm going to choose with this one. I'm just going to leave because I don't want to start the main quest. What I want to basically do is try and level up as quick as possible for you, for you guys, uh, so you can see what to do. Um, the first thing I'm going to do to to quickly level up, um, you can join teams. Now, if we look at our perk cards, if we press the pit boy and then press Y, okay, um, you can see there it's just telling you about um, ally strangers and enemies, as so you can see. Uh, the different colours. Okay. Um, when we're going to perk cards now, we've got some perk packs. Then this is the ones that happen every five um, every five levels. Okay. Let's just ignore that right now. And you've got lots of different perk cards which you can do. If you're going to be playing this on your own, you're not interested in any uh, teams or anything, or any events or anything like that. Um, it's already set up for that in the one called charisma and what happens is um you can see that when adventuring alone uh, you take 20 percent less damage and gain 30 percent ap regen the ap you might have played this in other games it's on the bottom right when you start doing something running whatever that uses the ap up yeah okay when you're jumping or whatever okay so right now if i'm doing this on my own um, it's gonna it's gonna go faster or if you want to really go fast and you do want to um, get more XP as quick as you can um, go on to there and if you press a to unequip it and then go down to inspirational what will happen is you'll get um, more XP 10% more XP if you're on a team the other thing to do as well um, will be to 
let's have a look. Possibly, I think, Team Medic on this one. Okay, um, and I think Happy Go Lucky. Reason for that is look for alcohol when you get that, Team Medic, when you're um, working with teams. Okay, and if we go back to our map, so that's the three lines, and then our beta social, let's just join one of these um, one of these teams. Doesn't matter which one you join, but um, possibly try and pick the highest value on there. You'll see this one's level 523, so it's basically um, doing the average for the two players. That's one 781. Okay, uh, this one. So I think this one, because we've got a couple of players on that, uh, I'm going to join that. Okay, so what I'm doing is just going to ignore this um, Pennington and let's ignore these. We've got What I'm basically doing is taking a different approach on getting the XP as fast as I can. Okay, um, this is donation box. There's two things on there. Click on take, and what I've just done is just got some plans. And if you go to your pit boy, which we just did, uh, do the left trigger, um, you'll see new, and we've got plan there. And if we just press the A button there, we'll, we're actually going to learn that plan. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's basically do some XP. Let's let's start getting as quick as we can. So. I think the first route to go for will be um, going back in our cells. Because ideally we want get, to start getting killing things. So now if you look on the very bottom, you'll see where it says N. And there's like a shadow of a little, it's like a, almost like a little bull's head. That's telling us that we haven't discovered something yet. I'm going close by to um, like a little camp. So let's go towards that and we should discover in a second. So it should come up. Just going past here. Okay. And we've just seen this camp here. Um, and there's lots of goodies here. Let's we might as well. Oh, aye, yeah, aye, there we are. So, okay, so this is going to be our first XP. So, you can see that just like any shoot up game, pretty straightforward. Okay, we've got like 49 and 49 there. Um, if you go over the top of them, press X to transfer and then press X to take all. What we've just done is picked up the meat for them to. And then what we'll do, once we find a campfire, we can actually cook that and get more XP. Now, there's all these different things on here. Just pick everything up for the time being. And what we'll do, we're going to be pressing our pit boy again. And then you'll see a number which is on the bottom, 79 stroke 185. So 185 is our maximum that we can carry. We've got 79 so far. So we can go ahead with collecting as much stuff as possible. And we can eat stuff as well by pressing and holding the A. And we've got plenty of stuff to be going there. And it doesn't matter if we're picking these up and we're going to use them or not. Because we can scrap stuff. And once we scrap it, we can learn a plan. And once we learn a plan, we can build a weapon and modify it and do all the other things. Okay, so there's a little sleeping bag here. What you want to do, you want to do this as quick as possible. Uh, click A to rest. And all we're going to do is sleep there for about 20, 30 seconds. And it's going to give us an eight XP boost. Now, bear in mind, okay, we've got... Look at him, try to... Go and try... Okay, trying to kill us now, so let's just... Okay, let's try and go to sleep again. <laughs> As you can see there, you're getting constantly attacked in this game, unless you're in your base and you can put some turrets up, that sort of thing. 
So let's just let it rest for a second. And what we're waiting for, on the top left, it should say rested bonus or rested. Hopefully we don't get attacked again. And you, if you do this every so often, you get the XP bonus. A lot of players, they don't do it. They never do it. And um, they're missing out, really. Because you have to start... Uh, there we are. You feel rested. Okay. So let's press A now. We start getting up. And then if we press... Okay, if we press our pit boy, which is the B button. And if we press the left trigger to start, and then effects, you'll see we've got casualty bonus, because I'm in the team. That's INT plus one, which is intelligence. And we've got resty bonus, XP plus 5%. Now, the first two hours, reclamation day, is XP plus 25%. This is why you need to get cracking with shooting everything you want and forgetting about the main story. And this is what players don't realise is first two hours, we're going to crack on and do as much as we can. So we're just going to ignore everything. And if we see something, we're going to kill it. So is anything here? Okay, so there's a little cave down here. Let's follow this down. Let's get into this cave and start killing things. He says, where is it? Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so X20, exit solo. Uh, a to continue and it doesn't matter if you die because all you lose is your junk you can always pick it up again um, and all we're going to do, be doing is shooting as much as possible let's just see if there's anything in here aye aye so somebody's shooting us already let's just pick them up ok now we've got a bit of an opportunity now because can you see what it says death from above that means there's an event on. And if you've got an event, you've got XP. Lots of it. Thank you for your cooperation. Alright, okay. It's this guy. Let's kill him. Go as close as you can to begin with. There is something called VATS, which I can show you at a later time. Let's pick that up there up. And a blood pack and that. And let's have a run now and let's try and get this XP. Got that two li two hour limit. Okay. All right. So that's called a melee weapon that they're trying to kill me with. And anything worth taking? No, we're okay for that. Uh, we can take these rounds because ammunition doesn't um, take much room up for carrying so I might as well get as much as possible All right, anything okay so that's just coming back in itself in it so there is, everything here is of no consequence to anybody uh, that's, is that going, oh, that's going out then is it right okay so let's go back down here again I think we'll, we'll try and get as much XP as we can out of here and then what we'll do because that event's going on let's get doing it and it's quite lucky if you have got an event on you're quite lucky because you can just do it straight off uh, okay more XP Let's have their rounds. Oh, he's trying to kill me. Okay. Now, bottom left, my HP there. I'm on Xbox. If I do a little thing there, it gives me a sim pack. And it gives it full boost again. 
So I've just been there. Oh, there's actually some ammunition as well in there. 10 milli round. And it's a bit of a maze this. Okay, so we're coming back, basically going in circles now. So I what I would do now is leave this um, place. And if you go to your map, which is the three lines, and if you look down here, there is an event going on. And this is actually going to a radiated zone. So it's not the best to, to do. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm see if I make a choice now whether to go in or not. I think we'll knock that on the head because that might be too much for us. But what we'll do, let's go to another event. So I've got one here called Protest March. Let's jump to this one. That's cost us eight caps. We do have um, lots and lots of in-game currency, which is too much to explain. And by jumping to this means, if you look at the map now, we've just secured this place called Grafton. Okay, so... Lots of different things to kill. Let's have a look around. So anything here? So I think... There, I got a big, guy, a big guy there called Super Mutant. Let's try and shoot him. These, uh, they've got lots of armor they have, so... There we are. And somebody else is... Oh, Rad Toad. And that little arrow on the left-hand side, that means there's another player there. Okay, let's go and kill him as well. And if you look around... <laughs> oh, okay, well, I've just took a stim pack there to help me with my health. And then it's gone back up again. And you'll see there's a bit of red on there. That red means it's radiation. Doesn't mean you're in any danger, it just means you're radiated. Right, okay, so this is this is the event now where you've got these. Okay. That's good. Killer protesters anymore. Okay. Anything else? Oh, 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 there's a few of them now. But this is what we want. We want this in the first stages uh, because. Oh. <laughs> Robots, anyway, don't we? And do you notice know my tactic is going backwards and going in circles as well? Right. Okay, now they're glowing. Can you see that it's a funny funny glow? And what I'm going to do is pick up afterwards. Any more protesters? If I press the map now... Oh, there we are. Yeah, we finished that then. So we got them rewards. Okay, so as you can see there, we're up, the levels started to go up quite quick. And we've only been at it, what, out of, the, out of here a few minutes. Okay, if we go over the top there and then hit extra transfer, what will happen is it will take everything. And there is places where you can sell stuff, like this guy here. He'll trade with you. Or you can go to, um, just checking if there's anything else. There's places where you can scrap them as well. Okay. 
So what should we do now then? Let's have a look. So you can see, follow the overseer's journey. So we could have, um, we can follow our main story anytime we want, but what I want to do is try and get as much XP as possible. So let's just jump to, um, should we jump to that one there? It's a quick, another event and um, more XP into it. And it doesn't matter if we complete the event, nothing matters at the moment. All we're after is XP. So we're just looking for enemies to kill and then get the XP off them. So I think. Bad scorpions. They'll come, us, come at us in a minute. Oh, there we are. Lots and lots and lots of them. Now we could. Drop an anger head at this. There we are. Any more? Oh, red scorpions. Now, do you notice that it says the red and it says red scorpion, then 20? And what happens is when you first start the game. Everything starts on the same level as you. So you don't get anything that's too high. Alright, any more? We go to the map. And it's just basically asking us to do that. Okay, so it's asking us to go there, but um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do what I want because I want to get as much XP as possible. Okay. Um, right, so... What we can basically do now is we'll have a look around, but let's go to um, let's go to another player's camp. And the reason for that is when we go to camps, we discover more areas. Or you can walk, and if you walk, you're going to be walking for long for a long time. So I've just gone to this this guy here, Ian. And I can see lots of different places. If you want, you can have a mooch around and see what he's doing. Um, if he's selling or doing anything like that. And what I'll do, I'm just going to go up here because I can see buildings. And if you've got buildings, you've got new locations. And if you've got location, you've probably got an anime. Which is all about the XP. There we are. So we just discovered that uh, new place now. So if we were to look, look at our map, you can see uh, Mama Dulce's food processing. And this is quite a nice um, place, this, because there's lots of things to get. Lots of enemies and um, lots of things to pick up. So you can see all around. Drinks. Should we have a drink? Yeah. And what you've basically got with, um, with the game itself is you've got some meters on the bottom right. Um, actually, watch, watch out. Someone's trying to attack me. You've got drinks, you've got food. So this is simulating real life. Um, once them drinks go down, drink and food goes down too low, then you're gonna start suffering. Okay, so that, now we just, just discovered this place. And we actually got some XP for that as well. Okay. And we've got a big place there university just remember this guy Gilbert Hobson for a later stage and let's go into another place to get some XP so we haven't even started our main story yet and what that means is you can do the main story when you've got a lot of XP when you've got better weapons And 
and we're just going to do this for the first two hours. Let's get as much XP as we can. Because I got that boost. Okay, so let's collect all that. Let's go have a look. There's lots of places to, to have a look around here. And we're nearly on, on jumping a level now. Ooh, brick wall. <laughs> Ooh, let's take that. Again, come to that at a later stage. Okay, ooh. And we're just gonna, there we are. So we've got to level up then. Uh, I mean, it hasn't took as long, has it? And we're just gonna do this, as I said, for the first two hours. Okay, let's, um, got quite a lot of things there. Okay, now this is the first weapon and we're coming out, we're gonna run out of bullets soon. If you are on the Xbox, uh, you can do choose a separate, separate we a second weapon by doing that little, the little keypad and pressing left. Yeah. And then when you do run out of bullets or whatever, it, it will automatically jump to that anyway. Okay. Anybody? Oh, we've just been there, haven't we? Okay. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. Didn't do anything, did I? Right. Okay. Toaster. I'm not picking up too many things at the moment. I'm going to be overweight soon. Although I'm picking up drugs because they um, they don't weigh much, same as, as ammunition. Uh, okay, let's go down the stairs. I came in through that entrance there, so let's go down here. An actual fat. That's going to take too long, that, so let's ignore that. Um, let's come out to the street. So so far we've 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 learned about maps, uh, weapons, ammo, um, quick way of doing it, and we've not even touched our um, main story yet. Okay. Um. Uh, get buzzing. Now at the moment we can jump but not very high. There is another serum there is a serum called marsupial. What it does is enable you to jump really high. Right, anything worth get ah there we are. Oh, there's quite a few of them there. Ooh. And if you aim at the legs, they can't run. Okay, anything worth taking? All right, okay, so. Any more? Okay, so there's an event coming on called Line in the Sand. What we'll do, we'll get ourselves over there because uh, that'll be a good way of picking stuff up and um, getting points. So what we'll do, choose the map. Hopefully there's other people down there as well. Yeah, there is. So you do 
the up button and then go down to that one and then press it or you can just do the point to go all the way down onto the map as well excellent right so now I'm not killing anything yet but can you see me XP go up what happens in events or people around you is you actually share the XP um, so what you want to do if you haven't got much ammo is just do one sort of shot in them and then in fact I'm glad to do that anyway because oh no if we do Y hopefully somebody comes and helps us there There we are, look at that, that's nice isn't it? And then just give me a thank you. So now I've got the second weapon which uh, is a rifle in it. If you go over the top of them there, um, you can just choose what you want to pick up. And what I suggest you do is pick up ammo if you need it, but leave the stuff for afterwards. Okay. And before I was telling you about the levels um, of the enemies, this here is an event for level 13 over. So what happens is these levels, um, they're set at level 30, these guys. So they're going to be more difficult to kill. But that doesn't matter because you're with teammates anyway. Well, look at that, we've got Scorch Beast as well. Let's get try and get a tap in for that because we want the XP for when he dies. Or she. Look at that, 266. That's nearly took us halfway, that. Okay, I'm doing a stim pack because of the health. I'm up at speed of this one. That's a level 50, that. Whoop. Let's try and get away. These guys are, I'll tell you what, let's, let's, this is when it's worth throwing a grenade. Because grenades aren't, um, they don't have like a limit on them. Okay. Now, can we see we've got a few players there? Populous, Shoshi Boshi, and Johnny Rebel. If we go to um, the teams, and join Shoshi Boshi there. Whatever he's killing, we'll get part of for the XP. So you're seeing it. <laughs> so we've got level. I didn't do anything then. I got some XP. So he's he's helping us. Um, I'm just going to do this here. Repair this because that's part of the game you have to. Look at that XP is going up fast, isn't it? And it doesn't matter if you're in an event and you're not doing anything, nobody's going to say anything. Everybody's looking out for themselves, you see. So, this is what I was hoping for when we first started is that we get a good event. Um, and where we are on the map is down this side here now can you see all this red bit here this is the highest level in the map which is level 50 upwards so you don't want to come to here to begin with when you're exploring you want to try and stay sort of this area um do i get the xp because the enemies are, are going to be more difficult to to do okay we're still on level 21 So we must have picked up some more ammo there. And you can see it went red, that means we definitely was hitting him. Okay. 
excellent. And we've got something called a score. The score itself, score challenge, is um, this little reward system which gives you something for doing little da tasks every day. Um, it's, you can you can do it and take things. Um, that was saying I was on level 122 because my main character um, is level 1300, so um, he was taking the score from that. Because uh, you could have multiple characters, you see, with the game. Wow, oh, look at this guy. <laughs> They're running a bit quicker out there. Excellent. So this is, you can see it's very similar to card or something like that. Oh, let's throw, look at him go. Just throwing grenades for them. And oh, almost like out of um, ammunition for that as well then. Um, one thing which you don't have as you do in COD or uh, things like that games is when you fall, you will actually die. So if it's too high, there is um, some things you can do to mitigate that. Whoop. With Maniac, huh? Ah, legendary crafting. What that means is, I think the reward we just got then was going to be legendary. So, just looking for to see what we got. So we got recipes. Mutated, treasury notes, got quite a lot of things there. And we leveled up as well. So it's definitely worth doing. Um, the whole video so far is about 40 minutes that we've gone into. And we're just touching on what's going on. And we haven't done our main story yet. Okay, so if we go to X to transfer. And we can, we can pick up different weapons if we wanted to. There's quite a few there. Um, we've already got a double, got a short hunting rifle, um, fire axe, lots of things there. We've got food, got plenty of ammo. Let's have some ammo. We could pick up the whole lot and then drop what we don't want. Um, okay. So, I'll just reload this guy. Oh. And about a second weapon. It's got 52 on there. Right. That's good. Okay. So, I'm just... What I was doing is making sure we're not overweight. We don't want to be overweight. Okay. Um, and if we look, we can see what we just got there. Um, recipe. Okay. So, that one there hasn't been learned yet. So, what I'm going to do is press A on that and learn it if you don't learn it then you're not going to be able to do it and it'll just add weight to you as well um there's a lots of weapons here like protest sign they're not worth doing them just drop them okay um what else is there we'll keep that sledgehammer just in case we run out of ammo we can still kill and Let's get ourselves over to that event as well. So we'll go to Simon, Simple Simon's Camp. Because if we go straight to the event there, with an the explanation mark, because it's red, that's we're liable to get in radiation. We don't want to do that right now. So we're going to the closest we can. Because a big nuke's just gone off. Ooh. I think is it okay, it looks like the, I think we just did we killed it. There's all sorts of things happening. 
yeah, it's just happened. So it's just, that's it. Actually, he jumped in for a reward. So that's not too bad. You can see it's a bit, look at that, it's chaotic. <laughs> so. Let's see what we got. Okay. And there's a... Let's just change our weapon. <laughs> Somebody's built this. Oh, it's actually quite magnificent, that. Big weapon system to take out the Scorch Beast. Okay, uh, right. Let's see if there's, any, if there's any spoils. No, there isn't. So, we jumped here. And we gained two things. Um, one of them would be... Um, we found this little place here. This one. So you can come here anytime you want. And you can pick up stuff. There we are. Drop sight V9. So you can see right down the bottom there. And Oh, there's a stash box. Okay, so, so far we haven't, I haven't sure, even shown you a stash box. So, let's do it now. A transfer. So, all them things we've actually got. Weapons, armour, apparel, which is your clothing, food and drink, that sort of thing. Um, the old weigh things. You can see the weights down there. Now, we, we don't need these things so what we're going to do is i'm going to hit y to store all junk yeah and fusion cores you don't know what these mean right now ignore it for the time being um what else is that we don't need um What else can we keep? Free star, unyielded robot, left leg. Okay, what we could actually do is wear that right now. And that's one we just the reward we just got a minute ago. So if I go into that now, that's that's basically a legendary uh, which is going to help us uh, when we uh, get low health. And... We also get 15% less limb damage as well. So we're going to actually stay alive longer. And let's go back to the stash. Um, weapons. So. I think we'll keep all these on us at the moment. Actually that, that's level 1. Boys. Yeah that's le level 1. So let's put that in there for the time being. Um, that one. Um. Right, so let's continue trying to get as much XP as possible because how long have we got left? If we go to Pit Boy, which is B, Stat, and then Effects. Yeah, we've got 1 hour forty, one hour 18. So we've been 42 minutes now of um, the 25% extra. So we want to try and use this up as much as possible. Okay, so what else can we go to that's going to give us XP? Okay, so I'm going to go to, I know this area, but I'm going to go to one of these camps here. And you can go to these camps, you can go anywhere basically, and you're going to find locations. Once you've found locations, you're going to find enemies. Once you find enemies, you're going to be killing them. And that's how you're going to be getting your XP. And as you can hear now, you've got a bit of a story going on. This is somebody's camp. We don't need to worry about this right now. Okay, so... We've got a few different... Um, enemies to kill. Robots. Sometimes are guarding... Um, areas. Like I said before about their allies are going to help you out. Um, if they go red, attack them. If they don't, like I'll show you now, don't attack them.
So there we are. So that means that's okay. Don't attack them. And if you do attack them, they'll attack you. And then we just come to a new area now. We've got some XP. Okay, but we want to try and get as much XP as possible. Let's get mooching around. XP. Okay. Anything worth it in here? Let's have that grenade, yeah. Anything in here? Okay, let's ignore that. Ooh, that's quite a big one. Level 60. Let's get out of the way. Let's try and get... <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's try and get a well away from that quick. Alright, okay, so we just we just died. Let's give up. Luckily, I put that junk earlier. Um, I put that junk earlier um, into the stash box. When you do die, you do lose your junk. Okay, so we're back to this area. So let's... I basically died there. You can see last death. Okay, so what we'll do, let's avoid that. So let's go back to the same place we were. But we'll find that little area because we want to try and get see see the little roads there we can we'll, we'll go around one of them and see if we can spot any enemies if they're too high a level you're not gonna you're gonna be there all day trying to kill it oh i've got some up yeah okay Oh, one more. There we are. And is it worth picking up? Yeah, I'll pick it all up. It looks like somebody else has been here before me. Or are they just asleep? <laughs> they just sleep. Some must have been here before, and which is good sometimes. Ooh. Let's quickly get out of here and let's do a grenade. Oh, and I'm picking up something called Rads. Oh, okay. So let's try and run away quick. In fact, let's aim for the legs and then they can't run then. There is a perk card for basically being able to target just the legs. Ooh. <laughs> Ugly things, these. Just give myself a quick put. Alright, come on. Ooh, nearly there. Let's do a headshot oh, if I can. I've seen another player now, that's Reese. He's one of the players at um 
he's wondering what I'm doing like because he recognises me at uh, a really high level. <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so if I do the little thing here, look, follow me. Oh, now what he's done there, he's done a little thing called a banner. So he's actually helping me out here. So if you get higher players, they're going to help you out. Okay, and if I look at the stats there, then effects. He's done something there. Um, and what I'll do now as well, if I go to aid, and if I do um, right away, um, that red bit bottom left has started to go away now. There we are. So I'm just getting my health back as high as possible. So he's helping me out, isn't he? So what's he doing then? Is he going to give up his anything? He might do. Oh, so what's he give us then? <gasps> he's give us stim packs. Now, I might have too many there. Oh, brilliant. So it's quite good when you get another player helping you out. Um, this will really speed up things because I can go to anywhere now and he'll follow me. Um, well, he won't follow me, but he, he might assist us. Now, he's doing something here called Lunchbox. Now, if you look on the stats here, what he's doing is plus XP plus 50%. So what sometimes happens is other players help you out. And when that happens, you can really, really get high, higher levels. So if you've got teammates that have already played this before, um, oh, look at that. Oh, that's brilliant, that. Right. So let's see if he'll follow me now. So what I want to do is, you know, the big, is he? Is he following me? Yeah, he is. So I'll be slowing him down now. What I'll try and do, can you see in the bottom there, we've got the little compass and there's a little like flag and skull and crossbones. What I want to try and do is get into um, one of the buildings and get as much XP as possible. Okay, so there's not much around here now. We're probably on level 22. <laughs> is he blow he's blowing things up. Ah, oh, there we are. We want it. Excellent. Look at that. 179 now. So that's really going to boost us. Loads. So what he's doing is he's basically helping. Oh, if I can get the aim right. That's it. One shot. So that's really good, that 179 now. So. That boosty gimme. Um nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. So I'm tempted now. What do I do? Do I go on an event? For your cooperation. Oh. oh headshot, there we are. So if I get myself over to that um event oh, where is it? Actually we can oh. <laughs> Up. Whoa! This is exactly what we want, you see. Then we can jump the levels. And is there another one there? Yeah, excellent, look at that. Okay, let's get ourselves down here. So we've not even touched the main story yet, but we're having fun. 
Where is it? Okay, so you can see your teammates. Where's this guy? Has he gone? He's gone down there, right? Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. If you're near the teammates, they're shooting, killing, you're getting the XP bonus as well, so. Ooh, look at that. So has the bomb gone off yet? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, be, be wary that you're going to die. Oh, excellent. So that thing you dropped off before called the Scout's Banner, what that did is give me a um, bit of a bonus. So called the Second Wind. And it's really, really good, it is. <laughs> I think if I stay around these, these rockets, I'm, I'll probably stay alive. So, hope you're having fun watching this. Um, a lot of people have uh, actually been watch my videos and actually do the same thing that I'm doing. Um, so look at what we've got so far. And then stat wise, we've got all these little effects. So we're good for another fifty five minutes. Um, on these, actually, yeah, one hour actually for XP plus twenty five percent. So let's, they should appear in a second. There's going to be a nuclear bomb drop in a second. And Reese might die, actually. Oh, he's okay. And one thing you can do, if you want, is get yourself high up. And just, then you're out, you're out of harm's way then. But bear in mind, you the weapon I'm using the very far. <laughs> so we want to get a shot on, don't we, at least. Because we want to get the XP when that thing dies. as well. <laughs> Anything else? I'm looking for red as well. So the, the, the advice you, that's a level 80 now. The advice you stay away from these events, but I think just get stuck in. Get your XP up as quick as you can get shooting things. The worst thing that you can do is die. See, level 277 is dying. I've just leveled up. Everything's good. And it's not difficult, just um, you can actually cover other, other um, Yeah, so I'm trying to cover these guys. Ooh. So that's someone's killed them. That's my fruit. <laughs> Getting trampled on by that Scotch Beast Queen. So this one, this build is the um, commando build. You've got the melee build which would use um, sledgehammers, that sort of thing. You can use them as well. It's a kill. But right now, I've not shown you perk cards or anything like that because 
you don't need to worry about that if it's pre if you start at level 20 it's been preloaded you're good to go for, for well for 10 20 levels if you want some of these high ranking players well he's getting upset Ooh, so we, so we won't just, just take a swing at these guys and we get all the rewards, you see. And the other thing we do is we get modes of ammunition as well. I'm just watching the health. Doesn't matter if I die. Oh, and I'm going to die. I'm out. Okay, let's, go, let's get away. But remember, I put that uh, legendary armor on earlier. That one there. When the health goes low, I actually get uh, better, better health. Oh, I want that one. Yeah, oh, missed it. Oh, excellent, there we are. So we, we we actually completed that now. So what I want to do is quickly get up here because we're down to low health there and we've just been given some free rewards. So we, what we don't want to do is... Um oh, come on. Get him into the stash box. Um, stash box there. And Y to store all junk. And you can see we've got loads of stuff now. Oh, and we just got given, what do we get? A Ghost Slayer's Short Gamma Gun. That's a legendary. Um, and we've also got, what do we get? Also we get, uh, we've got 12 treasury notes as well is good um, because when you start doing the main story treasury notes you can start swapping for the end game um, stuff so we've been doing this for about an hour and we've got 12 treasury notes which is pretty good um, got a couple of plans there as well so let's uh, let's just open them up as well so you go over to notes A to that survival backpack um, and this guy has he done any crafting places I don't think he has no he hasn't okay so what we don't want to do is jump off there and fall because we will die right um, oh looks like radiation is going to kill us so let's go to aid and then go to something called right away um whew. okay um right so yeah that's basically an hour the first hour out of the uh, vault i'm up three levels i haven't done anything really apart from running around and kill things um you can do the same thing you don't have to follow the main story it's still there uh, there's no rush on this you just play it as you want to um i've just found that um, going this way is going to help you um, for your XP because when you're higher XP you're going to get more um, well you can see there look at that, all these plans so let's take all them now higher XP means you can get access to more stuff so if I go to notes now we just got all these things a jetpack for a power armor and you probably heard of the power armors they're the ones to to get uh they basically are superb makes you really really strong you can just ju jump off buildings land and not die uh, and you can fly with the jetpacks you can do all sorts of different things so um yeah this, so this is up to level 23 first hour in the um first hour in the game i'll be doing another video as well going straight back to this for our on the hour one to two as well so if you want to watch that, thanks for watching.